Hello friends, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to discuss another Deloitte coding question and that question was came on 18 January. Okay, so now let's see the question. So this is our question, right? So consider a string str, pick each integer from the Fibonacci series and insert one by one into the str such that each character of the str is followed by the integer picked from the Fibonacci series. Okay, and next find the sum of all the integers picked and add it to the beginning of the str okay so now let's see some example then you will get it better okay so this is our first input okay and this is our string str i mean it is our input string right and then you will get this output so how you will get this output let's see so this let's see the explanation okay this is your fibonacci series if you can remember what is the fibonacci series fibonacci series is the the third number is the summation of first two numbers, right? Like 0, then 1, 1, 2. Like here 2 is a summation of first two numbers, right? And here 1 is a summation of these first two numbers, right? Then you will get 3. Because 3, you, if you add this uh, 1 plus 2, you will get 3. Then if you uh, add these two numbers, you will get 5. This is the Fibonacci series, right? So now you have to take this Fibonacci series. So now uh, like this is going on, right? But the thing is uh, how you figure out for, uh, means for how many numbers you have to calculate the Fibonacci series, okay? So to calculate that thing, you have to take the length, okay? Means this input string length you have to calculate. Like here, your input string length is 5, right? So it means that you have to calculate the first five numbers from the Fibonacci series. Okay, and the same thing is happening here. As you can see, we are just taking the first uh, five numbers. Okay, and first thing I want to say that you have to ignore this zero. Okay, means you have to start your calculator from one, right? And then you have to take your first five numbers why five number because here your string length or the number of the character of your string is five right that is why you have to take the first five numbers from the fibonacci series okay after that you have to like that you have to insert this number in your uh, input string right in which way at first you have to take the first character okay a and then you have to take the first number from your Fibonacci series okay then you have to take the second character b you have to take the second number uh, from your Fibonacci series okay then it's two uh, no two sorry c you have to take the first character right c then you have to take two this two right then d then three then e then five okay this is uh, you will get this string right and then if, if you add all these numbers you will get 12 right and at your output you just you have to add this 12 in your final output okay i think it's clear right so for better understanding let's see another example okay this is your second input okay this is your what this is your uh, input string right so what i have told you at first you have to calculate the string length or you can say the number of the characters present in your string right so what is the number of the characters that is present in your string is what is the length one two three four five six seven eight nine right nine it means that you have to take the first nine numbers from your Fibonacci series right the same thing uh here is also doing one two three four five six seven eight nine right nine numbers we have taken after that you have to um, add these numbers in your input string, right? Means B, B, then you have to take the first uh, in the, uh, first number is 1, then E, then you have to take the second number 1, okay, and this way it will going on. After that, you have to add all these numbers, okay? If you just add all these numbers, you will get 88, right? And then you will just add this 88, in your final output and in the beginning position in your first position you have to add this 88 okay and you have to return also a string uh, you have to return okay i think this question is clear to you 
so now let's see how we can solve this problem okay so i solved this problem in java but i think you understood logic but then you can implement this code in any language so now let's see how we can solve okay so now i come to my eclipse id okay so at first i just take some user inputs okay means as a, if you can remember at first we have to take the string as a user input right so i do the same thing here i just take the string as a user input and i just pass the string uh, to this solve method okay and in this solve method i will do all the necessary operations okay so at first you have to calculate the fibonacci series right so now I will take an integer type array okay and in that array I will store all the Fibonacci numbers okay and what will be the length of the array if you can remember all length obviously like the same length as a string length but no actually if you can remember at the end you have to add all the Fibonacci numbers right so that is the reason I will take another in uh, i will take one more index to store that value also okay so now int arr equals to new int so you have to take the same length as a stores length right and then plus one okay so now i will take another variable i equals to 0 okay so i take this index uh, integer type variable i to denote the array indexes right okay so now after that um, at first if you can remember how you get the Fibonacci series you, you have to add the first two numbers then you will get your third number okay and this way this process is going on right and if you time after you after you get the third your desired third number then uh, your second number will become your first number and your third number will become your what second number right this way this process is going on so if temp one okay then in temp one i will add one right because you have to take because uh, if uh, in a fibonacci series what you will get i have already told you you have to ignore the zero right so you have to take to take this one okay means you cannot calculate this one right because uh, if you want to get the fibonacci series at least you uh, have to uh, have uh, like your first two numbers right if you just add these two number you will get your next fibonacci number okay and then if you add these two number then you will get your next uh, fibonacci number right but to get this fibonacci series you have to take these two numbers right means you cannot calculate these two numbers right and then you have to add because i have already told you in our array i will add all the fibonacci numbers right so this one is also fibonacci number so obviously i have to add this number in my array right so arr of i then temp one okay and then i will increment my index position okay and i will i have also told you you have to take this one also because you cannot calculate this first two ones right so then in temp two equals to one okay arr of i equals to temp two okay and i plus plus right so now if you get these two numbers this one and one then you will get this two also means in temp three equals to temp one plus temp two right um you will get your temp three and you have to add this temp three also in your array because in our array we are storing what we are storing the fibonacci numbers right equals to temp 3 okay so now i think it's clear up to this so now i will take a while loop okay i and then so um as i have already told you in my array the last in the last position i will store the sum of all the fibonacci numbers right so that's why here i will take another variable sum equals to zero okay and here at the end sum equals to sum 
plus temp 1 plus temp 2 plus temp 3 ok I think it's clear so I just add all the tem uh, temporary variables so now I n ok uh, so basically why n ok just a second um, if I take another variable n and I just store this this length here and then I just add ok uh, only for simplicity ok it's ok if you just write s dot length ok hello if you can remember i have told you that to get this three you have to add these two numbers right so to get this three you have to make this one as your temp one right and these two you have to make it as a temp three okay i think you know Fibonacci series how you can create a Fibonacci series i think you know so now uh temp one is so now uh, you have to calculate your tem3 tem3 equals to tem1 uh, tem1 plus tem2 right and you will add that number in the uh, in the uh, in the array right tem3 okay and i will just increment this uh, by 1 okay so this way it will going on right add a rr of i is equals to okay just a second you have to do another thing also you have to add this tem3 in your sum right tem3 okay so don't worry i will explain this same thing with an example also then you will get it better so now you have to um, like if the time you have to add this tem3 variable why so because in tem3 variable you will get your next Fibonacci number right like your next Fibonacci number is 5 right so if you add these two number you will get 5 and this 5 is your temp 3 right that's why every time I add this uh, temp 3 in my sum because uh, you have to add that sum in your last index of your array right so okay if we come out from this value it means that your i is equals to equals to n right and if uh, you know uh, this is our length right n plus 1 means what is our last index our last index is obviously n okay and this while loop is uh, condition will uh, break only on when i is equals to equals to n right so this is our last index position it means that so i will because i will come out from this while loop it means that obviously i is equals to equals to n right and if i is equals to equals to n it means that this is our last index position and as i already told you in my last index position i will store the total sum of all the Fibonacci numbers right so then i will just add this sum in my last index position of my array okay i think it's clear so in this way you will case your hold the Fibonacci number and at the and also the sum of all the Fibonacci numbers i think it's clear so now you have to to um, modify your input string right so for uh, so to do this you have to take another while loop okay and then you can take another variable int x equals to 0 okay and x is less than a okay and then raise equals to raise means raise is our result string okay so then plus so at integer value so you have to convert the integer into a string right so that's why you have to write string dot value of value of x uh, no x a r r of x okay and then you have to just increment this x by one okay so at the end you have to add the sum at the beginning position right so then a string now let's run this code a b c d e i think i have made some mistakes see i forget to increment this i also right so now let's run this code again a b a b c d e okay so now you will get your desired output right 
so try to avoid these small mistakes uh, that I have made now so our second input was uh, beautiful right so now as you can see we will get you our desired output right so now let's see uh, with an example so uh, in the um, integer type variable n I just stored the length okay means in n what you have the 5 right so now I just take the integer type array and in this integer type array I will store all the Fibonacci numbers and in the uh, last position uh, of the array I will store the sum of all the Fibonacci numbers okay so now uh, like uh, at first I have told you you have to take this one at first you have to you cannot calculate this one and one okay you have to take this this one in two variables I just take this one okay so now if you want to get this two you have to add this uh, first two numbers right that's why in the time three variable I just add these two numbers okay and every time I just I also store that number in my array okay and if that I have to increment my index position right because all these are the Fibonacci numbers right that's why you have to add all the number in your array so after that I just take a while loop so the remaining all the Fibonacci numbers to calculate I just use this while loop okay so now if you want to calculate this two then this is your first temp 1 and this is your second temp 2 okay then you will get 2 so if you want to calculate this 3 then you have to make this 1 as a temp 1 okay and you have to take this 2 means this was the temp 3 now it will become temp 2 okay and then you will just add this 2 number you will get 3 okay the same thing I just do here the swapping I just do okay and then i just add this two number temp1 and temp2 i think it's clear and here i just do the swapping and then every time i just do the sum and then also i just add all the Fibonacci number in my array and i just increment i plus one okay so now it means after this while loop you will get in your array arr clear so and um, so now you have another index position right because in this index I will add I will store this sum right so after this line okay after this line we have in our array is this all the Fibonacci number and in the last position I just stored as summation value okay this is 12 right so I think it's clear so after that I just another integer variable why so I also use this uh, variable for indexing means uh, to denote the index positions okay so at first I just take the first character or you can say I just take at first the characters from the string and then I just add the character with that character with the uh, corresponding Fibonacci number okay and then this full while loop is going on after this while loop you will get what then you will return this uh, rate but before that you have to before that you have to add the last index position number means the summation of all the Fibonacci numbers you have to add at the beginning position right so that's why I just uh, here just add the number and I just convert this integer value into a string because you have to return a string right that's why I just convert that integer number into a string and I just add this number with our uh, raise value okay I think it's clear if you have any doubts you can definitely ask me in the comment section and best of luck for your exam so I hope this video is helpful for you Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.